<laughs> in the kitchen now with Angie. Talk about do it yourself. Um, she actually has a whole studio um, mm -hmm. in Green Bay on Broadway where you do all sorts of fun projects yep. yourself from yeah. knitting to what are the other kinds of things uh, that people we do can do? Glass fusing, metal stamping, sewing, uh, the green cleaners. I do a class on that and living on the cheap where I teach a lot of my tricks to uh, still live well but do it cheaply and I'm all about that yeah. I got a kid in college so I'm all about saving some <laughs> pennies so this is a fun one mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about um, you know going green in your home and, and doing some green cleaning supplies so yeah. making your own stuff boy that cleaning supply aisle um, whenever you run out of a bunch of it and then you have to go stock up mm -hmm. it's outrageous it is. and a lot of chemicals yep. and sometimes after you clean with them you're like oh you know it's not good for you you're yeah. kind of breathing a little bit different yeah if you get a headache after you clean that's probably not a good sign as to what you're using yeah so, true uh, after I had kids I kind of just started to make my own because it was easier than running to the store and I knew what was in it sure so the one that we use all the time in the kitchen and bathrooms is just um, three quarters full with water okay and so then, we already put water and you invested in these cheapy little spray yeah. bottles they're yep. great and they even have some at the dollar store um, and then almost to the top with vinegar there okay so three quarters with water mm -hmm. then almost to the top with vinegar yep and then um, you can do essential oils. I have a blend that I did up that's germ fighter and it's got cinnamon, clove, orange, and it's proven to be antibacterial and antimicrobial. Really? Yep, and we sell this at the store. So a little bit, uh, just a couple drops just of... Just a couple drops. Okay. And uh, we just shake it up and sometimes um, I do this ahead of time in a big jar and I'll put my kids orange peels in there too because that's just a little extra orange smell and power in it so that that's one is done that's ready for your bathrooms your countertops mm -hmm. i do my wood floors i have yeah. tons of wood floors mm -hmm. in my house and um, i you know i just do spray that and, yep. and do actual dish towels mm -hmm. or one of those um, reusable mops yep. you know and it, it works great yeah we have a steam mop and i put just the essential oils on the pad of the steam up and then run it around and it makes the house smell good and look clean. So. There you go. <laughs> now what, what's this one we're making? This one's more of like a grease fighter. It's got the soap in it so it'll cut through grease a little better. Okay. Um, a little heavy dutier but okay. we just do water and then a couple squirts of Castile soap. Okay. Which um, I also use this to make my own foaming hand soap. Same concept if you just do it in a foaming hand soap bottle. Really? And it's just that those two is yep. just the the water and, and the Castile. really and well. this is like eight eight dollars maybe and I've had it for probably three years and it's halfway gone wow yeah wow so. that's a great investment and then we're gonna give it a nice little scent yep I'm gonna do lemon essential oil and orange and for the kids bathroom I do the germ fighter sure sure for in their hand soap and same thing just give it a shake and I mean that's a lot easier than going to the store so this is if you, you know, have a little bit of grease in the kitchen, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be a little bit better for the countertops yep. maybe, and uh, love that. Yeah. And it smells really, really good. Um, first thing I thought is, well, where's the cat? What are these all about? <laughs> Tell me about those. These are dryer balls. They're 100% wool, and they will reduce your drying time and cut your static and eliminate the need for a uh, fabric softener. So how do you, you know, what do you do? Well. Um, you can also scent these. So okay. if you like that scent yeah. of the lavender or whatever in your sure. fabric softener, I can scent those. Okay. Um, I sell them at the store, and you can also make them yourself. Okay. Uh, you just have to start with a little knot at the end of your yarn here. And get make sure you get 100% wool. Yes, you okay. have to get 100% wool. Okay. And this really has cut... Um, we have an old dryer that doesn't work very well, and we started using this, and it has really made an effect on how long we have to dry. How many of these do you put in when you're drying? At least three. Okay. Yep, you can do more if you need more, but okay. three is a good place to start. Okay. Um, and we cloth diapered our twins, so we did a lot of laundry. I guess. <laughs> and yeah. these really helped with drying those quicker because they're... So I get the idea, basically you're going to make a nice big ball. Yep, you just how do you, How do you get them scented? Uh, the essential oils. Okay. You, you can just, just put a couple drops of essential oils in. That'll last, you know, maybe a month, and then you'll have to rescent them. Put more, but just put the oil right on the balls mm -hmm. and throw three of these in with your dryer. Yep. What a great idea. Yep. That's fantastic. Last but not least, tell yeah. us about these. They're really cute. Uh, these are reusable paper towels. 
I personally find I use something more if it's cute. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really like having just the rags. So I designed these paper towels and you can fit them right on your paper towel roll and you just unsnap your sheath, use it for the day. I use it for everything, like just all the messes, the hands and everything. And then I'll spray it actually with my vinegar one because then I know it's clean. It's not going to get stinky. Right. So use it for the entire day and then just throw it down in the laundry. That is fantastic. And they're so cute and you can right. use different fabrics. So mm -hmm. you've made these. Do you sell these at the store yep, as well? I do. So basically on the one side it's got Terry mm -hmm. and on the other side you've got a, a, another enough. fabric that'll work you know, because mm -hmm. you can use both sides, basically. Yeah, yeah, this works better for like a polishing or drying if you want to do the flannel, and then the terry is really absorbent. That is the cutest thing ever, Thank Andrew. You. Now, how can people find you, find more about your classes yeah. if they're interested in, in, you know, buying some of these dryer balls or yep. these paper towels? Um, our website is www.diystudioandgifts, and then we're also on Facebook, and you just have to make sure you click show in newsfeed so you see our updates. And classes all the time? Yes, or every Tuesday, Thursday. This Saturday, we're actually doing the polymer clay pendants with yeah. Um, Kim Geyser. Cute. So she'll be here teaching that. Very neat. And you yeah. can create your own class too mm -hmm. if you want to get some girlfriends together yeah. for a party or a shower or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, uh, just contact Angie, yeah. she'll hook you up. 